Did you know? Marywood University has its very own report server that houses reports requested by Marywood staff and written by OIT professionals. To get access to the report server, your supervisor must submit a help desk ticket that details the specific reports you should have access to. After the access is granted internally, you will then need to fill out a FERPA form. It may happen that the reports you have access to aren't what you need for a specific project. In this case, you can browse the list of reports for one that seems useful to your work. To request access to a report, simply submit a help desk ticket. A report is a big picture data return that pulls information from a Lucian colleague. It is best used when you need a large batch of information based on a few details. In the report server, reports live in folders. Each folder is named to indicate which kind of reports it contains. For example, the semester reporting folder contains reports that return information based on academic semester. Likewise, reports are named to indicate what information will be returned when you run the report. For example, students with programs open in a term is a report that allows you to select a term and program, resulting in a return of students with that program open in that term. To sign into the report server, navigate to the Marywood homepage. Look for the search bar in the top right and type the word useful. On the page that opens, click ERP Useful Links. Scroll down and click on the link for the Marywood Report Server. A sign-in box will appear at the top of the window. Use your Marywood U credentials to sign in and, if successful, you will then see the Report Server. When the Report Server opens, you will see a selection of folders, the listing of reports on server, and Report Server instructions. Click on a folder name to reveal the reports in that folder. If you are unsure what a specific report does, toggle the Details view in the top right of the page. This view lists reports vertically, complete with the full report name and a full description. Running a report is as simple as filling in the blanks. Most reports require you to select options from a series of dropdowns, but there may be some that require you to fill in a text field. In this case, the report server will tell you which format to utilize when typing the information. For drop-down reports, it is important to remember to move in a left-right path. Start with the top-left drop-down, in this case, term, and continue to the right, then down to the left again. The report will not complete or run correctly if you select options in any other order. Notice how some drop-downs list options with checkboxes next to them. This means that you can select multiple options from the list. For example, if you only want to see students from the College of Arts and Sciences, simply select the checkbox next to College of Arts and Sciences. There's also an option to select all if you want to view the data for all options in the list. Remember to click outside the dropdown to confirm your selection. It is important to note that some dropdowns are cascading. This means that the options you select in one dropdown may affect consequent dropdowns. For example, selecting College of Arts and Sciences would restrict the list of programs to only those included in the College of Arts and Sciences. Also, just because you select an option does not mean there are results to display. Keep this in mind when running your report and analyzing the results. When you are finished selecting options from the drop-down lists, click View Report. Depending on how large the report is, the runtime may take a few moments. Once the process completes, your report will appear in the bottom portion of the screen. Use the navigation tools at the top of the report to look at different pages. Use the floppy disk icon to export the report to Excel. There are a few file options to choose from, including CSV, PDF, and Excel. You can then sort, filter, and organize the data using Excel. You now know how to use the Marywood Report Server. As always, if you have any other questions, you can contact the help desk or submit your own ticket.